All right, so let's get started. So head over to getbootstrap.com and in this video, we're just gonna take a couple of minutes to sort of look through here and familiarize ourselves with this website because you will spend a good amount of time here. And the first thing I wanna show you right away is right up here, there's this little toggle button. And if you click on it, you can see there are older versions. Now, four, version four is the latest. We're on 4.1 right now. If this has changed by the time you watch this video, that's probably okay, as long as it's not five. You know, major version updates are like whole numbers, version three to version four, version four to version five. So as long as we're four point something, you're gonna be okay. Now, if it, they are on five, this may be out of date, it may not. It just depends on what they do with the new version. So we'll have to wait and see. But this is particularly useful here if you wanna use an older version. Version three is significantly different than version four. And some people like version three better. So if you are one of those people, or if you have an old legacy project that you need to keep updated with the old version three, you can get it right here. So you can just click on that. So this is the website. It's pretty basic, pretty simple, and you can get started or you can download it. Now to use Bootstrap, and we're gonna talk about this more very soon, to use it, there's basically two or three ways you can use it. You can just link to it, which is what we're gonna be doing. You can download a compiled version of it and then sort of link to that version. Uh, we'll talk about that. And then there's some other methods. You can compile it yourself. You can use package managers if you're using like Ruby on Rails or Node or something like that. They have versions that are compatible with that. And we'll get on, into all that in just a minute. First, I wanna just kinda click this getting started. And we'll talk about this in the next video. But this is, this is where you're gonna go sort of at the beginning just to get set up and get going. And like I said, we'll talk about this in the next video when we actually install this and start to use it. But this is where you're gonna start. The next sort of big section, you see this getting started and there's a bunch of little subsections here. The next big section is layout. This talks about containers and the grid system and sort of positioning things. And we're gonna talk about this mostly in the second half of the course. So we'll skip this for now. Next is content. And we'll talk about this in a bit, not that important. The next section is components, and you're gonna spend a lot of time here. And this is where we're gonna be spending the first half of the course or so. And this just lists all of the different components that you can use. So if you need a button, for instance, you just come down to the button component, click on it, and then here's all the button stuff, right? If you need a, a form, you click the form thing, and here's all the form stuff, right? Uh, so we'll get into all of this as we go. Uh, the next section is utilities, uh, sort of like components, just a, a few extra little things that you might use, borders and, and things like that. Mostly just borders, it looks like. Oh, here's some extra ones. So we'll look at all this later. Uh, extend, we're probably not going to spend much, if any, time on at all. Neither migration. Finally, about, you can look at this if you're interested in just like the history of Bootstrap. Bootstrap was sort of created by a couple of guys at Twitter while they were working at Twitter. I believe Twitter still owns it, but it's, you know, it's open source. It's completely free to use. It has an MIT license, which you can read about if you're, you know, worried about that sort of thing um, down here somewhere. And, oh, right here, license. You know, it allows you to basically use it in any way you want. It, it's a, a very broad license that lets you do just about anything, but you can read that if you're interested. So. I think that's all for this video. In the next video, we're going to jump in and actually start to install this thing. And uh, yeah, it should be fun.